St Mary's Parish Church is the oldest building on the island still in use, with some parts said to date back to Saxon times. Over the years, like so many of our churches, it's been added to and changed. And this year, St Mary's architectural heritage has been further enriched with a new stained glass window. It was commissioned in memory of three generations of a local family who have an unusual connection with the island. In about 1870, I think it was, my husband's ancestor bought the island. And um, I think with it, he bought the thing called Lord of the Manor, which really doesn't, <laughs> it, it doesn't really mean anything. And the, the window commemorates three generations of the family. Indeed. It commemorates my late father-in-law and late husband and late son. I was approached last year by uh, Lady Crossman um, about the possibility of um, designing a memorial window to uh, some members of the family who have recently passed away. So they wanted references to uh, St Cuthbert and St Aidan. St Aidan is represented by the traditional heraldic symbol of St Aidan, which is, is, which is the stag. There's other references to the island, like these have got uh, St Mary's Church represented. In some ways, the window represents commemoration, but also some sadness in your life, because it remembers your father-in-law and your husband, who you nursed for many years after he had a stroke, and your son, of course, who died in an accident. Yes, he sadly died in an air crash, leaving two little girls. When tragedy strikes a family or, or individuals, as happened in, in your case, it can really test your faith sometimes. Did that happen to you? Yes, I think one's first reaction if there is a God, how can he let it happen? And then you realize that there's probably not a family anywhere that isn't affected by some form of sadness and tragedy. You get over it and then you do find that faith can help. You can't really define it, but one had a peace. But it's, these things happen in life. It's just rather sad.
Holy Island has been inspiring Christians for over 1,300 years now, and there's no sign of that changing, really. Much of its enduring spiritual appeal lies in the constant ebb and flow of the tide here, and the island's rhythm of separation from the rest of the world and reconnection. Leave me alone with God as much as may be. As the tide draws the waters close in upon the shore, make me an island set apart alone with you, God, holy to you. Then with the turning of the tide, prepare me to carry your presence to the busy world beyond, to the world that rushes in on me, till the waters come again and fold me back to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Next week, Diane will be joining the night shift and staying up all through the hours of darkness. We'll have a selection of hymns with a nighttime theme, and Diane will be meeting people who are out and about after the sun has gone down. Neil Oliver's new series, Sacred Wonders of Britain, continues tomorrow night at 9.30 over on BBC Two. Well, next from BBC One, it's an underwater world with dolphins spying the pod.